Introduction to GitHub Actions What is CI-CD? It is automation of building, testing and deployment of your applications. In other words, automating your release process. As you can see in the diagram, primary components of such a process are code repository, building, deploying and your deployment targets. This process may be kicked off based on events. An example of an event would be a person checking in code into the code repository and as a result of that, a build might be initiated. So all of this put together is called a CI-CD pipeline. Let us see how you would implement a CI-CD pipeline with GitHub Actions. The source in this case would of course be a GitHub repository. To build and deploy, you have GitHub Actions. GitHub Actions are YAML files. And you may be deploying to one or more environments. So how do you set up all this? You need to write a GitHub Actions workflow YAML file. Within your GitHub repository under .github workflows subdirectory, you can define your workflow in YAML files. At a high level, the YAML file will have events and jobs sections. Let's go over each section one by one. On keyword is used to define the events which will cause the jobs to be executed. In this particular example, whenever a push happens to the main branch, the jobs are executed. The job section has one or more jobs and every job has one or more steps. Let's look at the first job here to understand what it needs to do. The runs on part defines the platform on which this job must run. In this case, Ubuntu latest. Then it defines two steps. First being checkout code and second being build packages. Steps are always executed in a sequence. The checkout code step uses a ready-made action called checkout, which is available in GitHub Actions Marketplace. The GitHub Actions Marketplace has many such ready-made actions for common tasks. You can use one of them or write one of your own. So checkout is nothing but another YAML file in GitHub Actions Marketplace. The second step here is to build packages. Here we are running a shell command npm run build. Therefore, steps can either invoke other actions or run shell commands. The second job also needs to run on Ubuntu latest platform. It has two steps, install and test. In both the steps, we are running shell commands. So where do these jobs run? The jobs are executed in runners. Runners are nothing but machines with GitHub Action Runners application installed. These machines are provided by GitHub or you could use one of your own. It's important to remember that jobs can run in parallel while steps within a job always run in a sequence. However, you can create a dependency between jobs to run them in a certain sequence. You can create complex workflows in this fashion. That was a quick introduction to GitHub Actions.